So this so is what, what you're looking at here, Chris, was what used to be the space that was occupied by the red barn. And what this now has become is a storage space for all of our dry goods. So this side of the pantry, we have all of, all of that. And um, we're able to make really good use of the room, um, not only for storage, but this is where the team packs uh, the children's, the, the, the student snack pack uh, program every Friday. Is this where they're going to do the Thanksgiving baskets too? We'll do the Thanksgiving baskets here. Um, when, when is that going to take place? That will be on it's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. I think it's like the 19th. Okay. Um, but w w with more space, what we've been able to do is dedicate like specific product for the kids so that, you know, we have an inventory, which we're trying to work on it being more nutritious. You got applesauce, we have some fruit. Um, and, you know, maybe in time what we'll be able to do is not only pack uh, snack pack for kids, but maybe do something for the elderly that can't make it down here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea. So, uh, the other thing that we did is we opened up that entrance there, and we're in the process of, of uh, securing hopefully a new vehicle which will park there um, and it will again give us more opportunity to, to, to move product. So, is there more stuff here? I mean, there it is, seems like there is. Well, there is. And what's happened is because we have the space, when we get these uh, organizations, whether it's Walmart or, or Second Harvest or Costco that says, hey, we have a pallet of such and such. Before we'd say, well, we can take some of it. We can't take all of it. Now we have the space. Uh, and so we're able to, to, to take advantage of good deals, free stuff. And, and, and we do store it. And uh, uh, so we do have more things. But what you'll find now is you won't see anything stocked high. And the, the, the important point of that, Chris, is this. It was a safety issue. Mm -hmm. We had tight quarters, and we had uh, a lot of our volunteers, which you know typically aren't spring chickens, working off of ladders. Sure. That was a huge concern of mine. And so I wanted to make sure that we got folks down off those ladders. There's nothing on top of the coolers. There's nothing up on top of the of these offices. Everything is down low. Ergonomically, they can they can work the product without risk of injury. So that was a big big deal. That was a really a big motivator for me. So how long did it take to get this space prepared? Uh, I think the red barn moved out as of uh, right around uh, end of June, and uh, we started using that space probably within a month. Okay. Um, so, so this has been a, a great, a great addition. And then the next thing is, we expanded the pantry with an additional aisle. So now we've changed the flow where folks come in on the left-hand side. It's a lot like a grocery store. You grab the cart, and what we've been able to do is this is the new space that we added. So this is baby food, uh, infant uh, items on the left personal care items on the right, and then folks will just simply uh, work their way through. But by doing that, we're able to open up more space uh, on the other end of the pantry for, uh, for all of our, our perishable things, which uh, that's, that's what the other side of the pantry is for. So how did you get money to do the renovation and everything? Uh, is that what the Madison Community Foundation did? or we uh, Yeah. Well, first, it starts with that. Uh, we installed refrigeration, uh, and, and, and it basically was, uh, you know, over $25,000. We received a grant from Madison Community Foundation for $25,000, so we were able to do that. The rest of these changes that you're seeing is kind of pretty much sweat equity. Um, we reconfigured shelves. We took things down. We, we put things back together. So. Uh, that was the big expenditure, was the uh, refrigeration, and then we just took advantage of the space. We do, ha we are working with McGann Construction. They've also helped us with some changes. I'll show you a sink that we've installed. Uh, they did, uh, they did open up our entrance on the south side a little bit more for us to use, uh, and uh, and so that's that, that's another uh, addition that we made. So. So anyway, I think the rest of this, you probably, you know, this this pretty much flows 
we have hands in the past. This is the sink? This is this is just basically for our volunteers. It's oh, okay. kind of a, uh, this isn't the new sink. This has always been here. It's a little bit of a break area. We have coffee uh, and just some supplies here for the volunteers. But what this, by, by adding an additional aisle, we were able to move some things around. And so now what you see is basically in this area, all through here, this is what I refer to as all of our parish bakeries, okay? We get, uh, as you can see, we get a ton of bakery. We are right now inundated with produce. Um, and we really are able to tell our clients, take what you can use, no limits. And, uh, and so we're able to do that. Um, and then that's what this side of the pantry is used for, is all of our perishable goods. So, what you're looking at here used to be our freezer. This it's all now, refrigerator. Now it's converted to a cooler that allows us to store produce at a more moderate temperature, keeping things fresh, uh, providing the clients a better choice of food. So, uh, again, this thing is, is full of uh, more nutritious choices than we've had in the past. We got uh, lettuce, potatoes, lettuce, in there. potatoes carrots, carrots uh, you know, apples, pears. You know, it's, it's cheese. Yeah, it's, we've got cheese today. So um, this was really tight quarters for all of our frozen food, and now we're able to store produce there. Um, and then this still is our milk, eggs, and butter, with some, you know, again some bakery things, but. But we go through that quite a bit. And then this is kind of the crown jewel. This is our brand new freezer. Um, what it not only provides, again, is more choice for the clients, but storage space. So again, if somebody has a large load of frozen food, we could say, we'll take it. We didn't have this installed maybe three days. Chef's Ice Cream gave us a couple of pallets of ice cream. Wow. And we were able to say, yeah, we can take it. Whereas before we'd say, can't use it. And then it goes to waste. So um, it's also, you'll see, nothing on the top. Nothing on the top. Yeah, this also used to be storage area, right, where the this freezer is, is right? storage, yeah. And so we, everything, all that product over there, in addition to all our perishable, was, was here. So these things were stacked up. Uh, and it just wasn't a good situation for us. But now what we've been able to do is we just really expanded this aisle so that there's a lot of flow through here when people are using the pantry. Uh, and so they're, and, and we've made the checkout process much easier. So what we're doing here is we've installed a scale where instead of taking everything off and weighing it one bag at a time, we simply roll the cart up on the scale and uh, we're able to take the rebound. And you guys need some help with that? You said that on 61? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be minus 61. Yeah. Well, it isn't. Well, I can do that. Okay. As soon as I finish this. Um, and then, Chris, just this then allows us, hi Karen, this allows us, you know, the, the ability to, you know, like take deliveries. Well, Look at the pizza that we get. That's a daily occurrence. And so we're able to move that right into the freezer. Um, and we, again, use this space for, uh, for loading and unloading. Peter the pizza guy. Yeah. So can you take a little... This is just crank on it. Yeah, you really have to. Hi, Leo. Hi there. You got any as well? So, huh? we got a non-stick skip floor. So, um, so it's all, all good. That's nice. Yeah, it really is. So, 